Hello, beautiful friends. It's Erica here to do the weekly energy forecast for the week of April 20th through 26th of 2020. We have a new moon in Taurus happening this week. And if you haven't seen that video, I definitely recommend checking it out because it will help you understand more of what could be going on for you this week. It's a very powerful new moon. Um, so I will link that at the end of this video to make it easier for you to find if you're interested in looking at that as well, because that is big energy this week for sure, kicking off another 30 day cycle. So we're going to take a look at the themes of the week, um, and what's supporting us and what is challenging us. And here we go. This just flew out. Just say yes. Um, I wasn't even ready to start yet, but of course that message wanted to come out. So we're going to see how this fits in. So I'll put that on pause for a second. I really wanted to, I don't normally do this, but I wanted to get your guys's feedback on something. If you feel like sharing, um, if you would in the comments below, if you've been watching me for a while and you've been hanging around this channel, um, I would love to hear from you guys which of the types of videos that I do you find that you enjoy the most or that you find the most value in, and also why. Um, if you feel like sharing, of course, I don't normally do this, but I'd love to get a sense of which of the videos um, you personally find the most valuable for you. Obviously, um, everyone has different reasons and different videos that they enjoy, but I'd love to hear your thoughts on that as I'm, you know, continuing to grow and to move into some new directions that, I should say not new directions, but expanded directions. So that would be a really helpful for me if you feel like sharing. Um, okay, so we're starting off with just say yes. <laughs> So this is a big green light here for somebody and all of us, right? This is something that, you know, if you have been wondering a big question in your life, it looks like the answer is yes. But this is saying just say yes. So to me, I'm feeling an energy where this week there could be some things coming in where it's like, you know what? Maybe it's something you didn't anticipate, maybe something unexpected, and it's like, you just got to go for it. So let's get more and see what this all relates to, because that's a quite, quite a bold statement <laughs> right off the bat. So let's get another card here. Interesting. We're getting the consciousness of victim mentality. That's quite a shift, right? So we're going to see how this all plays out even more specifically, but there could be an energy of being the victim, playing the victim, feeling like everything's happening to you. Um, and this is the opportunity we do have to shift this mentality this week, shift this consciousness of feeling like the world happens to us or woe is me. You know, nothing ever goes right in my life. Um, why do, you know, this, why does this always happen to me? Why do, why does this not happen to other people? So definitely be aware of this coming in this week. Um, cause it is something that when it comes in like this, we have the opportunity to transmute it. And when we have the awareness of where we might be feeling the victim in our lives, um, we have the chance to change that. Let's get another card on why the victim mentality is here. Professional assistance. Wow. Okay. So guys, some of you, it might be really important to be reaching out to um, therapists, to, um, to anyone that you trust as a mentor, as a confidant, to help move through this. For some of you, this might finally be deciding to get some help with some area of your life when you're getting just say yes, victim mentality and professional assistance. Um, Clearly, this isn't going to apply to all of you in that capacity, yet these themes will be appearing. So this is where some of you could be getting um, some support, some help. I mean, this can be everything from, you know, support emotionally, but also even with some sort of help financially with what we have happening in the world. This may be coming in that form that we do get some help from other people. 
at this time. So, so either we're the ones seeking professional assistance or the one, we're the ones giving it to those that are having a very difficult time. And those of us that are um, doing work and light work and whatever it is in your life, maybe you're just that friend that everyone turns to because you give such good advice or you just really make them feel nurtured. Um, we're all being called to support others that are having a very difficult time right now. And let me get another card. Look at this. Friendship just flew out. I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. So there you go. Whether we're the ones reaching out for support or others are needing our support or a combination of both. So, um, interesting. I'm really eager to see what energies are supporting us and challenging us as we continue this reading. So let's take a look at the overall energies that are going to be supporting us this, this week in the collective. What energies will be supporting the collective this week? The priestess, how are you being called to step up and lead? Well, there you go. There is that energy of sacred feminine, of course, but this is also spiritual leadership. This is ancient wisdom. You know, how many of you who have been awakening for a long time have kind of been doing so in stealth, right? Doing so in stealth, maybe not engaging quite yet. Maybe it wasn't the right time, but you may feel a real call of your soul this week to step up to some form of leadership, whether this is leadership over your own life or leadership within a family unit, leadership in your community, leadership in your profession, whatever this is, um, you know, the opportunity to contribute your worth and your value to the world beyond where you've been. Let's get another card on what energy is supporting us this week. The loving woman. Wow. Look at that. Like I said, the divine feminine nurturing energy. Here with this priestess card, we're getting, again, the divine feminine. Um, this is either in the form of a person. This is, again, to me, this is that loving, nurturing, feminine energy. So we may be feeling, um, if we're lacking this, this may arrive for us in some form. Um, if we are this person, then it is very much needed, but we are getting two cards around the divine feminine energies in all of us that are being asked to step forward here. So let's get another card on the energy supporting us. Perseverance. You know what's so funny? When I was picking this deck to use today, I just felt called to using this deck. I was kind of, you know, just quickly shuffling through the cards and I saw this card and I was like, yep, that's the theme for the week. So here we go, guys. I know I can do whatever I set my mind to. So perseverance, leadership, care, loving. This is what the collective consciousness, uh, what the world is needing right now. People to step up and lead with an open heart, be very loving and accepting of others no matter, you know, we would, no matter, no matter what, whether we may have previously labeled them, you know, not really a good person or not that nice, or they haven't been kind to me. We're being elevated spiritually far beyond the 3D reality because every soul truly has an opportunity, no matter what they've done so far in this world to turn their lives around to wake up to where they've caused other people pain, to wake up to um, where they have been a lesser version of themselves. And that's a very difficult thing for a lot of people to face. And so we've all had those moments where we see ourselves in a light and we just go, you know what, I want to change this. I am not, I can't believe I've been this way or I've not seen this side of myself and I don't like it. Um, 
And that is the journey of life, right? Is constant growth, constant striving, being better. When you know better, you do better. Having the awareness, raising our vibration, all of that stuff. And so we are being um, supported this week. The energy supporting the collective is persevering, continuing to love, appreciate differences. You know, um, because there has been such a lack of loving in the collective for people who have differing opinions. And that's differing opinions, different perspectives on things, maybe... You know, whether it's whatever it is, right? Maybe it's political. Maybe it's socioeconomic. Maybe it's gender. Maybe it's race. Maybe it's sexuality. Whatever. But there has been a culture purposely, intentionally created to be divisive amongst people. And part of what we're being called to here is to step up and lead. And I'll tell you a quick story um, of something that happened the other day for me is, um, I decided to, um, put, um, something out there that was something I felt called to communicate, um, put it out in the world and it was intended for, um, people who know me, people I'm connected to. It wasn't like a big platform statement that was, you know, to be made, for example, here. I know this was an open platform. This was made in, um, and it was, it was, I was speaking up around something that felt very, I felt very strongly about, and I normally don't speak up about things. And that's why I feel like we are so much getting this call of our souls right now, of spirit. So I spoke up about something that was really more, less about the topic I was speaking up at, about. It was more the fact that I was speaking up and that I finally was speaking up because there were many people that were receiving this message who I guarantee believed or thought that I felt otherwise about said topic. Okay. And I did it from the standpoint of showing that we should be able to speak our truth in a way that's open that's our truth without feeling like people are going to attack, belittle, you know, the haters, um, the people that, you know, suddenly Erica's not a good person because she believes this or she thinks this or she, oh, she has that perspective. And I can tell you the beautiful thing that happened by me doing this because arguably putting yourself out there in a way to people that you know can be scary, but we are being called now to be our authentic selves. It is not about fitting in. It is not about being liked. It is not about, you know, hoping somebody accepts you because whatever. It's like, no, this is me. And I know many of you guys are doing this, which is why I'm giving this story because it's not, but I'm, I'm illustrating this. And the be most beautiful gift came from this, which was, there was a, there was a response that was so loving and supportive, number one, and also very, I got so many um, personal messages as a result of me doing this from people that are afraid to speak up, that admired my bravery in doing so. Because, you know, guys, I've spent my last almost 15 years of my career being a naturopath in the field of alternative medicine, as some people would call it, or naturopathic medicine, you know, not allopathic mainstream medicine. I was trained in my education, what I could say, what I couldn't say. You can't say that. Oh, no, no, no. You might get thrown in jail if you claim that or if you say that. Only a medical doctor can say that or only this or only this. Like, it was, I was taught to speak in code, wink, wink. I hope you know what I'm really saying, but I can't say it out loud. You guys, my disclaimer, my um, informed consent form when I took on a client was like eight pages long because I had to say it every which way to Sunday. I am just educating you. I'm not giving you advice. I'm not giving you any, it was like crazy, right? But this is the world that I've been in professionally for about 15 years prior to now. And it's kind of, and there's all these things that, 
you can't communicate. Not just in that field, but others. So we are changing that right now. And I can't believe I'm going on this long with this particular comment, but it's coming through. I'm going to really curious to see what um, is going to be the challenged energy this week, because I have a feeling it's going to relate to this. Okay. Um, but I do want you guys to know that part of lifting the light of the planet is to not be afraid to speak up. Do it in a way that is open hearted, honest, inclusive, and non judgmental, right? Um, non judgmental, but there's times where you know you put an opinion out that other people don't agree with, and that's okay. It doesn't mean that anyone's any less lovable or worthy of love or worthy of friendship. So um, I did see such beautiful things come from doing that. And um, clearly it was an experience I was meant to have in order to share it with you now. As many of you guys are likely going through this as we speak. So let's, um, let's get another card here. Wow, this is going to be a long video, guys. Well, maybe not. We'll see how fast the rest of the messages go. But that obviously feels super important. Let's see what energies could be challenging us this week. Oh, the ever unfolding rose cracked open. It's happening for you, not to you. Look at this, you guys. See, we have the consciousness of victim mentality. It's happening for you, not to you. This is where we may be cracked open, broken open. Our hearts may be busted wide open. And that can sometimes feel very vulnerable. When we have been shielding our hearts or closing our hearts for so long, when it is busted wide open, um, it can feel difficult and cracked open. Being cracked open has to come with some sort of force. Some, it's not like a gentle, like, let me just slowly, you know, take this egg and like slowly break it open. It doesn't happen. It has to have a quick little hit in order to crack it. That way it can be opened. So this ties directly into the Uranus impact of this Taurus full moon happening on August, on April 22nd. So again, another theme coming in, um, very consistent for this week. So let's get another part of what could be challenging us this week. People. <laughs> so we have people and people supporting as well as um, challenging us. Guys, I do have to say what I'm feeling from this, because this says new supportive connections, but this is a challenged energy. How are we being challenged by this? To me, this is almost saying the opposite, which is where we may feel like we had friends or support in some way. Um, maybe the people we relied on in the past are not meant to continue as a support system in the future. Right? Friends are in your life for a reason, and sometimes friends exit your life for a reason, and they're in here for a period of time, but they're not meant to be forever friends. And that's absolutely what could be going on here. I think people are really showing a lot of their true colors at this time. You know, under stress is when we see a you know, stressful time doesn't build character, it exposes it. I don't remember who, whose quote that is, but um, it's so appropriate for this time. Um, and so we may be needing to form new connections with people that maybe we we didn't know we had so um and that's not always the easiest but in fact let me get another card on this new supportive connections energy the consciousness of lack all right see how that's tied into that where it's like we feel maybe that we don't have a lot of people who understand us anymore maybe we feel like there's not enough you know, not enough to go around. I only have these friends, and if these friends suddenly don't feel like friends anymore, who do I have? Well, guess what? There is opportunity for really beautiful new friends, beautiful new supportive connections. Because um, when one door closes, another one is opened, right? But that's not always an e that's obviously not an easy process. So let's take a look at another card for the challenged energies this week. Growth, see? I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness. That's not an easy process, guys. 
that butterfly going through the chrys it, being in the chrysalis and emerging out is a very difficult process. But what comes out is the beautiful butterfly that has transformed and morphed into a brand new beautiful creature. So growth, moving past things that believing that we don't have enough victim mentality again. Um, and again, I, I have to reiterate this. It's absolutely necessary to get to the, to the next place. That's so much more beautiful, but the passageway isn't always, isn't always rainbows, butterflies, sunshine, flowers, you know? Um, but where you're going is. So let's take a look at the overall energy of Divine Masculine this week. What is the overall energy of the Divine Masculine? Actually, I'm going to use this deck. Take that. Do it this way. What is the overall energy of the Divine Masculine this week? Bring love into the situation. I should put it right on top. So new moon and Aquarius energy. Interesting. So he's bringing some sort of new love into the situation. Whatever situation that may be, right? So this is a new beginning, something brand new that's starting. Wanting to be more loving. Wanting to be a friend. Saying yes to bringing new love in here. Having persevered that you can achieve what you're set, what you set your mind to. Let's take a look for the um, Divine Feminine. A personal issue reaches resolution. See, so here we have a closing out of a cycle that is related to possibly home and family. Um, this is something is closing out that is a very deeply personal journey. Obviously one that we've persevered. Um, could relate to a love relationship, certainly with this loving woman coming in, right? Um breaking free of this victim mentality. So um, something that we may have been working on in our deep emotions, maybe finally closing out, um, finally having healing, healing of something. So let's take a look now at a little more in depth here at the masculine and feminine. As we keep going let me clear these guys off all right so let's take a look at divine masculine what is he consciously thinking of this week what's on his mind this week what is on the mind of the divine i'm gonna move these up what is the divine masculine consciously thinking of this week what is on his conscious mind we have the Six of Pentacles, the Five of Wands, and the Lovers. So he's definitely thinking about this love. What does love mean to him? Some may be making a decision around love, around a partnership, around what really matters when it comes to that higher level of love with the lovers. But there is some inner conflict here. There does look like there's um, he's ready to give and to be balanced here. Um, to have a reciprocal relationship, reciprocal dynamic here. Um, he is finding more balance in his life, but it's almost like there's, there is some inner conflict, which feels like it could be related certainly to the circumstances we're in. Um, but let me get a card on why the five of wands is here for him in the mind, the hierophant. So spiritually, this is a big, he, he's, he's having big time spiritual epiphanies right now around love around the new beginning in love moving forward in the new consciousness with the divine feminine but there could be some um really could be thinking about i'm gonna say for some of them marriage because the Hierophant does represent this. The Hierophant can represent marriage or at least a higher level of spiritual commitment where he has been kind of almost fighting it within himself, but it's now becoming clearer and clearer for him. Let's see what's in his um, heart space. What is he con What is he feeling this week? 
Six of Cups, the Two of Cups. Wow, you guys, the Ace of Swords. No wonder he's getting this Bring Love into the Situation card as his overall energy because look at we've got the lovers and then we have the two of cups and we have the six of cups and the ace of swords you know here is that energy of unconditional love and an equal partnership see here is the balance this is the reciprocity having enough to give and receiving and there being reciprocity in a relationship that's what he's thinking about and here he is with this ace of swords in the heart space which is that truth the clarity he is clear in his emotions of who he is aligned, who he is aligned with in the future. It's no doubt, no question. Um, wanting that feel the feeling of nostalgia for the divine feminine, for that feeling of comfort, familiarity, this loving woman energy. In fact, why is the Ace of Swords here for the Divine Masculine in the heart space? What is this clarity and truth about? Page of Wands, wanting to communicate this, wanting to take action. But it's clear. It's clear. He wants to communicate this feeling to her if he hasn't already. Let's see for the Divine Feminine what is going on in her headspace, conscious mind this week. The Hierophant, the Ten of Wands, and the Queen of Cups. So she also has this spiritual energy. Look at the mirroring happening here. So if she's closing out a relationship or um, uh, something very deeply personal, this could be, again, a spiritual lesson that she's completing about her own um, security and safety and comfort. Because um, she is opening her heart here for sure, something that she feels very much in alignment with emotionally. But there is this energy of Ten of Wands. So this can be that, again, a card of completion and overwhelm a little bit. But burdens, responsibility. Let me get a card on the Ten of Wands. The Two of Cups. Yeah, so for some of you, some of the Divine Feminines, they are closing out a relationship that was maybe like a soulmate, a partnership where she was bearing most of the responsibility. And this is really heavily on her mind this week. If she's not closing out a relationship, this is her truly um, very much feeling like this sense of connection with the masculine. Let me see where she's feeling in her heart, because that's what's on her mind. It's like she wants the, the kind of the, the difficult cycle to end, right? Let's see where she's feeling. The Eight of Cups, the Moon, and the Five of Cups. See, so for the a lot of the feminines, um, they are leaving relationships behind. And um, feeling the sadness, feeling like maybe this was all an illusion. Again, this isn't for everybody. Not everyone's ending relationships, but there is a, a large number that are. Um, but for those not ending relationships, this is really saying that she's very much wanting to move past the sadness of the past. She's ready to be happy. She's ready for this Two of Cups. And the Ace of Pentacles. There is a new beginning, a tangible new beginning coming here in the for the Divine Feminine. She's going towards this. And the Five of Cups with this Knight of Cups. See, so there is moving this energy of forward movement past any past heartbreak and sadness. And why is the moon here? Strength. Perseverance, right? Courage, perseverance. She's got it. Trusting her intuition. So, um, all right. So we are going to head over to the extended now. And I am in that extended. We're going to take a look more at the dynamic between the masculine and the feminine. We're also going to look at abundance messages for the collective, what's up to be healed this week. We don't get the shadow aspects, energies, challenging, supporting. We're doing all of that stuff. But for those of you not going to the extended, I'm going to leave you with a guidance message here. What is the best guidance for the divine masculine this week? Hold your vision. Keep 
focused on where you're going. Don't let anything distract you, Divine Masculine. And Divine Feminine, what's the guidance? Conclusions are within reach, the full moon eclipse. So the Feminines, closing out a major cycle of either leaving a relationship behind that's not the right one in the long run, or closing out a cycle about of being totally of being single and you know pre divide pre sacred union um and if you're in union and many of you are um harmonious union this is just indicating a cycle that's really opening you guys both up to more love to more clarity to closing out working through some of those sticky parts when you first come back together in new energy and just knowing that it's a very important cycle but it's coming to an end here so all right guys i'm gonna head over to the extended and with that i send you so much love bye